I don't know who this is for, but this is a really important message in order to make sure that you are going to see the fruitions of your labor. So buckle up, this might be 10 minutes. I definitely think it's gonna be over three. My darling, my love, my superstar, my chosen one. You are at this time in your journey where you need to take this inspired action to go after your dreams. So a lot of this like planning and the dreaming and the visualizing, that's done. You know exactly what you want, but you need to start going after it. But here was the kitsch and here was what was crazy about when I was like pulling cards. Five of swords came up. Seven of swords came up. I tried to put this thing back in the deck because I wasn't sure whether it was for you or not. But then when I was asking spirit, what is the main message? The three of swords came up. So here's what was interesting about all of this. In this message of the day for 60 seconds, right? There was the hermit, there was the eight of swords, and there was the tower indicating the fact that it was really important for you to, in a way, put your blinders on so that you're not gonna be influenced by all of these other shady ass motherfuckers who are trying to tell you what you should and should not do in order to achieve your dream goal. What spirit is trying to tell you is the fact that you have done a really good job of cleaning out and identifying the thoughts and belief patterns and ways of doing things that aren't your own and that don't feel aligned with who you are. Like what's the easiest way for you to get things? But the thing is, is that even though you've cleared it out and very well done for doing that, there's now this sense that as you start to take this inspired action and really start to get a lot of this monetary wealth and success and fame, these people are going to start coming back out into the wood, uh, out from the woodworks again, especially with this Mercury retrograde coming up. So many swords indicates that this really is a mental battle for you. Which on a positive note, that's really great because that means that you can easily shift it and do the work that you need to do to realign yourself by yourself in your own house. This is really about getting into a space where you put your head down and you just let your success speak for itself. This eight of coins interpretation is based off of a fable where basically um, this girl needs to save all of her brothers who are turned into swans. But the only way to do that is to work in silence um, by making these reeds out of these thorns. So her hands are hurting and there is some suffering, but she's not allowed to say why she's doing it or to complain about the suffering if she wants them to be free. It's kind of like that, but not in the not in the way of you have to suffer in silence, but like, okay, there's a couple of messages with this. One, you don't need to play the victim anymore. You already know what you need to do. So this is, this is about getting out of victim mode and to being like, okay, I get that, um, you might want to try and take away what I what I have worked so hard to get. Um, you kind of just want to be my friend now just because I'm starting to get a sweet taste of what you want and you kind of want to use me to use me for my connections. Um, you want to come back into my life because you actually see my glow up and now you want me back and um, I do not go back down to a level that which I have already graduated from. You say all this in your head, but what you're doing is you're just gonna let your work speak for itself. So when you are working, and at the beginning, no one's gonna believe you because you are a visionary. You are someone who is creating this whole new way of doing things so that the world in general can have an, you know, a much better life. If that's the case and that's what you're creating, guess what? People are gonna doubt you because number one, they didn't come up with it, up with it and number two, they are still in their comfort zone. So they're not gonna understand what you're trying to build and they might think that it's stupid, but look at Frank Lloyd Wright and the airplane um, or Benjamin Franklin and, and, and electricity or Christopher Columbus and sailing the world. Initially, when these innovators decided that, they, that something else was possible beyond the realm of what society believed, everyone thought that they were crazy until they actually got it done and then they were like, oh my God, you're so smart. 
the same kind of situation is going to be happening for you. Someone might be coming in to try and romance you. I did say, I think that for some of you, not all of you, that um, the person that is your person, so the one, like your happily ever after person will come through your work, uh, but just be discerning. And then again, this is, there's just like this, just keep, just be on the lookout. Do you know what I mean? Just notice the red flags because right after the Knight of Cups was the devil and the emperor. So what I'm getting from this is just like, again, don't back, go back down to a level that which you already came from. You know, the red flags, you know what to walk away from. Just don't even entertain the idea and think logically about this. I know that there's a lot of this like, okay, head versus heart, head versus heart, like which one do I listen to? Your gut instinct will always tell you, but if you are still having an issue dis like discerning what's actually your in intuition telling you something and what's actually fear, like then use your logical mind. If this is an ex from a past and you can tell that they haven't changed their behavior, don't go back. If you're around this person and you don't get energy, you start to get drained energy or you start to second guess yourself, walk the F away. If you are in a business deal and it seems a little bit too good to be true, take that contract and say, Hey, this sounds amazing. I just want to look this over at home and give it to my lawyers to inspect before I sign anything. I hope that's okay. If they are in, if they are any kind of legitimate business, they will give you the time to do that and not be afraid of you to you bring that contract to your lawyer. Does that make sense? Okay. This is making more sense. I'm freaking out. Uh, so now this is, this is where the good shit comes in. So you're entering the phase where you get to become the empress and all of these warning signs are just things for you to create stronger boundaries for so that you don't have to worry about drama as your glow up continues. And let me tell you, even though it's eclipse season, I'm getting this very strong sense that you are going to have an incredible glow up during eclipse season, which sounds so crazy, but it's like, because you now are like, Oh, eclipses are good. This means I get to shift. This means I get to change. This means I get to step into who I've always wanted to be. This is the Empress, which of course brings you into your new journey, like the actual new chapter where you don't deal with this garbage anymore. You don't have to worry about the devil because you've got your protector in place to make sure that those people can't even come close to your vicinity. Oh my God. Okay. So after the full was the world, and this is what's interesting when the full, which is the beginning of the major arcana to the world, which is the end and they're right together in the deck. To me, what I am getting is the fact that you are going to get everything that you've ever wanted in way faster of a way. I'm talking about quantum leaping. I'm talking about stepping into the person that you meant to be. I'm talking about those windfall of opportunities that just get handed to you out of nowhere. I'm talking about when things just kind of like come to you like magic and you don't even understand how it even possibly happened, but just it starts to get this snowball effect of like all of the good things. You're just going to be a magnet for all of the good things. And the key to getting all of the good things in this like very quick, easy and effortless, like let's just jump the hard steps type of thing. This is what you really have to do. And you have to remember it's the eight of cup energy, uh, eight of cups energy of walking away. You have to walk away from this old life. And again, that's why this two of wands was here before, but you have to walk away from the things that you know are no longer working for you and search out the things that feel satisfying and fulfilling for you. That's going to be the key to your success. If it doesn't feel satisfying and fulfilling, don't freaking do it. You really can create your dream life right now. If you need help, get my dream life blueprint workbook. It's in the link in my profile. It's $11 and 11 cents. And it's 25 pages of my exact step-by-step -step way that I've manifested everything in my life. So check that out. If you want something more where you just want to basically pour gasoline on this to really make this happen like yesterday, then book a psychic coaching session with me. I will straight up channel your spirit team, God Angels Universe. They're basically going to be your life coach. We're going to identify the block that's preventing you from getting to where you want to go. All of these devils that you need to get out of your life and then give you a custom tailored practical action plan in order to, for you to like just get these things done and then really start 
receiving everything that you've wanted. It's one of the most liberating, funnest things that I love to do. Link and profile if you want to book. DM me with any questions. I love you. You've got this.